two best teams here in Turkey, and they are starting this one off so quick. It is, of course, Train, and it's a fast fight on the B-bomb site with Device finding those first two frags, but he's lost his teammate. That Zipex down over towards the other side of Train, and Device hasn't fallen off at all. In fact, Device is going to come skewer this from the side. There's the first and the second. He's looking for the ace, and what a way that would be to kick off this pistol. Tarek, little does he realize, being wrapped from behind, he's done. And Ice has all this info. There's no way they assume he's still up here, you'd think. And it looks like Device, just like in the pistol, is just gonna stop the clan. He picks up the kills to go with it. Device and Glaive. And Device yet again. They really want to get their footing on this B site. They're gonna have to go through fire if they want it. They're gonna have to fight tooth and nail. And they will pick up one kill, sure, but Device, there's just no solution to him right now. Tarek, okay, gets something towards that A site, so a little bit becomes in question, but with Bomb in their line of sight, you'd think they sh should still be able to control this. It's a smoke for Fallen that he's going to be able to plant inside of. Although, two kills right back, Tarek nowhere to be found, and that's a defuse as well. He's playing with fire, but there's only a couple of angles that people typically will peek you from. There it is, one and two. Beautiful, just as you alluded to. Those headshots connect with what looks like ease, and Device will take two more, so welcome. And Glaive's gonna get dangerous. Right on the cusp of t -Con. He's got two players on the other side of this, Bomb and Op included with Fallen. Two towards Pop Dog, and that last man, Terex, gonna be lurking it through Ivy, but yes, sure, the smoke does fade to the favor of Glaive, picking up the first kill, dropping Bomb. Getting the confirmation now because there's 30 seconds. There's 30 seconds for them to get out and deal with this bomb site. But again, they can pinch this still. There's a dedicated defense from Astralis over towards Ivy, but now that gets pulled away. And just as it does, it's perfectly layered, but it does fall on Zipex. And he too just gets blown away. Welcome, MIVR, to the game. They will get themselves down ladder just to find Glaive on the other side. He had only just then, at that moment, burst back inwards as they fell. Right place at the right time. Could grab himself another, but for now it's over towards the site that Dupree kicked himself to. It's on. Yeah, it's just a straight up run out. I mean, it's not the first time Astralis have given up this real estate, given MIBR possibly a false sense of security. Because while they have been offered some footing towards the site, it's not that the defense isn't here. I mean, Astralis, they're ready for this retake, and before the bomb's even planted, they've lost two more bodies. Dupree's position known. Device as well has fired a shot or two. And Z Connector's still in firm control. And all the while, all the while they're winning these duels, they still have that continuous wraparound from Glaive. What could be the nail in the coffin is that flank. Stewie dropped. And now Cold Sarah's down with him. Five deaths versus MIBR, and Astralis only lose two. This is continuing to look very smooth. Nine games with timing. Magis gets blindsided. Glaive's got a good position to try and lock this down, but he can't finish the spray. The frag won't get much done either, and then he falls. This could be a second for MIBR unless Dupree just throws a total wrench in the works because Bomb's not been planted and he's already here to fight. Sure, Tarek says goodnight and puts him to sleep for now. Zipex emerging from the smoke and looking for a gunfight of his own, but he too toppled. Tarek doing a great job of swinging this down to at least a 1v1, but look at Fur's health. Can have a good chance of winning it. Oh my god, he's not gonna plan. <gasps> Oh, he just gets I, caught in the movement. Yeah, it's A plays. Smoke goes down at the feet. Zipex will be tested with a multi-frag, which he does not get. Only one. And Device, being caught between smoke grenades here, has afforded this plant for MIBR. They still have presence over towards the A site. Remember, Fur got out very early on, and he still resides just outside that T-Con. Interesting, as the clock ticks down. No one making movements. They're pretty late to respond. Wants to go up the ladder, too. He's being very aggressive about this. Just trying to bang frags around, just trying to distract, maybe. I mean, even if he calls attention, that'd be great. But now it's two kills back for the favor of MIBR. They have a man advantage in this after plant. And you do see the CTs just trying to get desperate here, running forward, blanketing it in smoke, and just jumping on the bomb. It's a desperate deep fuse, but it's nearly there. Fallen will deny it for a second, but... Still not the best of halves. 13-2 to the favor of Astralis. Ivy. Then they put down their own smoke to the left side. It is still a, a bit of a smoke trying to obscure this. Fallen, ready to receive, but it looks like Astralis are going to try to make the most of their opponent's smoke by going into the train yard itself. It's the flank around from Stewie and a push up from Fallen that doesn't net him a second kill, but still leaves us in this three versus two. 
Zipex, having wrapped around from Ivy, can't connect the headshot. And maybe Glaive comes to help, but he's gone. So Glaive finds himself alone, and then Stewie just slays him. MIBR with at least a chance to improve. So, it's the, it's the half deco for Astralis this time. Nice flash grenade. Zipex gets one fully blind. MIBR are losing bodies and giving up guns. I believe that's a Fomus soon to be retrieved. And top of the MP9 of Zipex, Glaive denied up close. The ump good for a single kill, but now it falls to Cold and Stew. And only Cold. He's got three opponents ahead, but it looks like they'll eject and head towards the B site. Oh no, not like this. Well, the whole squad eviscerated just like Ash the Pop, and Glaive just waited him out just an iota of time more. It's a big kill for Stu. He just grabbed the ump and he gets behind them. I mean, we saw Device in a similar situation when they were on that CT side, but luckily the threat's been cleared for Astralis, and as has the Z Connector. Two kills quickly, and another from Magis. The last man's revealed himself, and there's nothing he can do. Nothing at all, other than maybe another kill. Lucky to be alive at eight health. Fur wants an upgrade from the MP9, but Device already quickly behind his teammate. So 15 to three. A couple of phases of rounds that need to be conquered from IBR on this long road back. Getting 5v4 is obviously a good start. Yeah, but Astralis, they know they have rounds to play with, so I think it's for that reason we see this just utter aggression on both sides of the map, which hasn't gotten them past the line of defense just yet. Scout shot's good to damage Zipex. He drops to 15. Still, this bomb could be planted. There's no utility here for MIBR to try and stop it with frags or fire. So sure enough, the retake will be on. And two T's have already ejected their way up back into the upper halls. My question is, does Stewie just get blindsided? Yeah, absolutely. Device goes for the peak and there's nobody there to cover. While Tarek does spot Zipex beneath, that's just a ruse. It calls the attention and it seems like this is it. It seems like Astralis just dumpstered MIBR. Oh my god. 16 to 3 on their own map choice. The opening map of this series very quickly swings their way. And wow, what a clinic from yeah. the best team in the world. That was the best team in the world, you have to say it. I mean, it, was, it must have been demoralizing to be on the team. This yeah. is where Yanko comes in, right? Just hypes them up. I Resets mean, in general, them. they knew what to do. They know what to do moving into the next map, but it's really about getting the spirits high, making sure... <laughs>